and we're done here. That's D U N N. And uh, I went fishing the other day, caught some smallmouth on the Juniata River, and uh, wasn't a good segment. And I thought, man, my personality, it's not good enough to, uh, to entertain people. My fishing, it's just okay. So uh, what do people want when they watch these videos? So I'm going to tell you who, what, where, when, how. That's it. Where I caught my fish, how I caught my fish, when I caught my fish. Alright, so Henry Dunn, D-U-N-N, I've got this channel, subscribe if you want, don't, up to you. Now, let's start. What? Smallmouth bass, alright? Best fighting fish out there, where? Juniata River. That's uh, the end of the Juniata River where it joins into the Susquehanna. Alright, I'm going to show you the map, I'm going to show you exactly where I caught these fish. Now. We're on to the how. And I'll tell you how 95% of the fish I catch, boom. Wacky rig, Senko. I mean, that's it. I got a one on Gamagachu. I like the red hooks. Boom. Five inch Senko. Go to colors. In this order, you got the watermelon with red flake. Boom. Four or five inches every time. The water's murkier, it's a little darker. Boom. Black with blue flake. Boom. Yamamoto. Gary Yamamoto. They're expensive. I don't know why they work when the yums don't. I don't know why they work when the other stuff don't. They just work. Boom. All right. Wacky rig. What am I using? I've got eight pound fluoro. Okay. It doesn't matter what reel I have. It doesn't matter what rod I have. But what makes a big difference here is this yellow line. Especially when finesse fishing with soft baits, that yellow line you can see it in the water. And when a fish just touches this, boom, you see it. You see it move there. All right. Now, next up, other things that we're working uh, on that section of the river. I will tell you these uh, Smalley Beaver from Reaction Innovations. Boom, Beaver Tail. And you've got yourself a dragon jig. So any kind of jig, this little screw in here, boom, 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 drag along the bottom. Any kind of riffle, and you just bounce it on the bottom. The big smallies, the 19, 20 inch, I've usually caught on these little creature critter baits. All right, the small ones. The small ones are super fun. Small mouth fight like crazy. And I have this little rebel crayfish on my little... Uh, light tackle rod and reel with four pound test a lot of fun not sure what size it is but it worked really well and the last bait that worked on this trip was uh, a little Ned rig and I don't know if you ever used a Ned rig it's basically a jig with a flat head and uh, you see the little flat heads in here and it just sets up and the tails up in the air and you bounce it along the number one bait for that was this Again, Gary Yamamoto, it was called the Houdini. Houdini color, smaller, I think this is a 4 inch. That worked really well. And for the Ned Rigs, I do go cheap. I'll sometimes take one of these Yum Dingers, especially the blue. I'll clip the tail, and I'll throw it on here. So this is a shorter version of the tail that got eaten. But usually, the length you want is about 3 inches. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we got the who, the what, the how, the when. All right, when was July 18th. But now I'm giving you the where and the exactly where. So I'm not technical. If I was technical, I would actually put something real on here. But I started here at the Greenwood Access Boat Ramp. I used a my uh, little old town canoe because it's real skinny water in here and I'll tell you where I really caught some fish I went down here and behind these islands one two three caught plenty of small smallmouth it was nice riffles a lot of movement they were hitting that crayfish on top water now if we go down there's this big island I've camped on that island before maybe maybe not I don't know if you're allowed to so if you're not allowed to I never camped on it now here, this was a really nice riffle, and um, 
right behind here, I caught a huge one that uh, threw the hook at the end. But uh, nice fish right here. And then uh, we'll back up. All of this section was productive, especially where it gets skinny behind some of these riffles. Um, again, that Ned rig was really working with the smaller fish. Uh, we'll zoom out. And uh, I've seen muskie in this section. I've seen catfish in this section. I saw a lot of carp on this trip. And uh, right before I got to this bridge here, and uh, right in this section, right along here, I was sight fishing for some real nice bass. That's where I caught the three in a row. It was okay. I hit the bend here, and I was catching some nice ones along this stretch. Then we get out at the How Access, H-O-W. Um, this is the access point here. Everything was easily picked up on the Juniata Parkway. So uh, again, I launched at the Greenwood access and got out at the How, H-O-W-E access. And you can see, if we zoom out a little bit, that you don't have much river left until we empty out into the Susquehanna. And this is productive all the way through. So that's the where. The when was July 18th. And uh, go ahead and stay tuned for um, for the actual video which again isn't that good and if you really like this you can uh, look at my YouTube channel Henry Dunn that's D-U-N-N -N. and uh, if you really want to learn about catching fish I would look at the uh, flathead catfish in the Susquehanna alright I think the actual title is flathead catfish fishing on the Susquehanna and uh, that's a that's an educational video the rest of them are just kinda silly so uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you catch some fish. I don't want to lose that worm either. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a bunch of them in here. Oh. She's got a bunch of girls following her. of bricks she's a pretty girl like a ton of bricks again there were two of them back there so go back up see if I can't get the other one nice fish Woo! and we're down here that's the UNN we're here in the heart of Pennsylvania right above Harrisburg we're at the uh, Greenwood boat launch on the Juniata River and uh, beautiful river. We've got things uh, blowing up on top. And we're down here riding the rapids, catching the fish. Woo-hoo, doggy. Bet you there's a couple right in that hole right there. But, uh, I ain't gonna get them. fish on. See if I can't lose him here. Oh! She's a big mama. Woo! Still green, still green. He's pulling me back in here. Let's see if I can reset. He's gonna run once he gets close. Oh! Yeah, reset, reset, reset. I like this spot right here. It's behind a small island. It's all some jumping. I think we're 
gonna be really active right here. like a professional and a uh, professional that's put one bass on the boat maybe two and uh, lost a big one and really done nothing for nobody uh, I see a big girl right here big girl trying to do a little sight casting here but just keep blowing it. Maybe we're gonna get a good this video here. Ooh, she's a decent little fish, but again, I forgot my net, so just keep her down. Get her close. That's a nice fish. There's a nice one. We're gonna to start to get a little bit better here. There we go. Don't have anything to measure, but there's some there's some fat girls in here. Uh, all right. Beautiful fish. Juniata River. These big girls, oh my goodness, they run. Woo. Holy cow. Alright, I'm going to try to get in short because I don't want to lose the spot. I think one just let go and then I had a little one pick it up. Ooh, maybe not so little. That's a nice fish.
coming into the launch. I'll tell you what launch it is. Gonna grab my bike, go get the truck, pick the canoe up, and uh, call it a day. Four or five nice fish, a bunch of little ones, and uh, it was hot. I'm gonna do it for you. Stay tuned.